going to ask you to stand because I want to teach you something before we close. I don't know sign languages, but I know two. Just all you need to know. Because this is what God is going to give you in your valleys of the shadows of death. I want you to remember these signs for as long as you can live on this earth. I wrote on my hand, I don't know if you noticed, I wrote Galatians 2.20 to remind myself that I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that live, but Christ lives in me. And this life that I live is by faith in the Son of God who loved me. But I need hope. And I need to remember that I pitched my tent in the land of hope. So the first sign I'm going to teach you, put your left hand in front of your right, like this. I'll turn around so you can, like that. I asked my friend, left hand in front of the right, thumb up. I want you to do your signs perfectly because if you run into my friend that taught me, who teaches sign language, she'll get me. But the sign for hope, you've got your hands out and you're bringing your fingers and you're calling in hope. I said, Melissa, why would you do it that way? Why is that what she said? Because you're expecting good. Bring it in. It's certainty. Hope comes in. And then the other sign, crucified. What does that remind you? Cross. I was crucified. When you're on your face, or when you're praising him. message and touch the heart of the one that's broken. I pray, Jesus, that while they stand before you, they see themselves in hope. Come on, Jesus. Bring it in. I'm expecting it. That whatever hurts them, whatever they've never let go, Lord, they would put out to you to come and touch. Heal. Take the poison, Lord, and pour in your healing spirit. Lord, we'll make it with you. We're going to survive in you. And we're going to thrive in you. And we're going to soar with you, Lord, because we have hope. We are bound up in you. We praise you, Lord, for what you've done. Lord, anchor us in a place that when the winds blow or whatever storm comes against us, we know that there is hope. And we can trust the one who is our hope in the land of our wilderness. Those who survive the wilderness. Those who survive the sword. And grace. And as you praise you, Jesus. Amen. I pray you, God, that you would bless each and every woman in this room. That she would overflow with joy as she trusts in you. And that she would be filled to overflow with hope for the power of the Holy Spirit.